story to tell. In the ranking released by Global Firepower, the Swedish Air Force holds the 47th position in the world and top Scandinavian peninsula. Unlike many countries, the strength of the Swedish Air Force is created entirely by domestic fighters, whose strength is not inferior to that of Russian or Western products. In the family of Swedish fighters, must mention Sharp 29 Turnen, the first truly successful fighter jet made by Sweden itself. This is not only Sweden's first weapon fighter to be mass produced, but also Europe's first true fighter. As early as 1940s, the engineers of the primary Swedish aviation company, Sharp, realized that jet power was the way of the future for combat aircraft. However, Axis and Allied jet development efforts were largely secret, and the Swedes had little knowledge of the technology. They worked hard to catch up. By the fall of 1945, they were able to get their hands on the British the Havilland Goblin centrifugal flow turbojet engine, quickly arranging to manufacture it under license. After World War II, Sharp obtained access to German studies involving square wings and their positive effects in regards to speed in Switzerland, and as a result, the J-29 Turnen came to be similar to the German Luftwaffe Messerschmitt P-1101 project. The aircraft was officially introduced in 1951. Until retirement in 1976, a total of 661 aircraft were produced, making it the largest production run for any sub aircraft. It also served with the Austrian Air Force with 30 units in service until 1973. Turnen means the barrier, often referred to as flag and turnen, the flying barrier. Visually, it was a small, should be aircraft, featuring a thin 25 degree square back mid mounted wing, having a single tail and a single engine, featuring the design similar to the most of the first generation Z fighters. A single engine with a central straight through airflow system that maximizes thrust. The overall size of the jet is 10.23 meters long, wingspan of 11 meters, the height of 2.75 meters and wing area is 24.15 square meters. The empty weight and the maximum takeoff weight are 4.8 tons and 8.4 tons respectively. An integral single central air intake forming the aircraft's nose, the pilot being housed within a bubble canopy located directly above the air intake on the upper forward section of the fuselage. The canopy was opened by sliding backwards, allowing the pilot to access and exit. The designer also took advantage of the already existing ejector seat, developed in 1943 by Saab, complemented by the explosive jettison system to remove the canopy in case of ejection. The tail of the aircraft, placed above and behind the engine exhaust nozzle, it consists of a vertical stabilizer with taper edge and the horizontal stabilizer is mounted practically at the base of the tail. The tricycle configuration undercarriage was hydraulically rejected during flight and was designed to be suitable for landing upon rough grass airstrips. The Turnen was equipped with a single to Havilland Ghost turbojet engine producing 5,000 pounds of thrust. This engine was tamped suitable for the fuselage of Turnen, replacing the original plan to Havilland Goblin and had the advantage of making maintenance easy with the engine cowling able to be removed as a single piece. The engine, along with its aerodynamic characteristics, made of the Turnen as a fast fighter. Once in service, the Turnen broke many records 
it sets a world speed record on a 500 km closed circuit as it reached the speed of 977 km per hour in 1954. The reconnaissance version set also a record of 900.6 km per hour in a closed circuit of 1000 km. The tenant proved to be not only a very capable and agile fighter, but also proved very durable in sorties. During a UN mission in the Congo, it received extensive ground fire without sustaining any noticeable damage. Later versions of the Turnan received various refinements, including the addition of an afterburner, which was the first successful use of such a device in combination with a British jet engine. Improvements were made to the wing shape, incorporating a dog-tooth leading edge for the effect of raising the critical match number of the aircraft. The armament of the Turnan consisted of 20mm Hispano Mark V cannons placed in pairs on both sides under the nose. The pylons were capable of carrying 75mm air-to-air rockets, 145mm anti-armor rockets, 150mm high-explosive rockets, or 180mm high-explosive anti-ship rockets. From 1963 onwards, our frontline J-29F was equipped with AIM-9 Sidewinder in threat-seeking air-to-air missiles. Fewer airdrop tanks could be used as napalm bombs. Sharp-made aircraft were rarely seen in combat, but Turnan was the exception. It saw extensive use during conflict in Central Africa. In September 1961, in response to an appeal by the United Nations for military support, an initial force of five J-29Bs were stationed in the Republic of Congo as a contribution to a UN peacekeeping mission in the region, organized as the F-22 wing of the Swedish Air Force. In 1962, four additional J-29Bs and two J-29Cs were sent. The J-29s were the only combat aircraft at the disposal of the United Nations at the time. Most of the missions involved attacking ground targets with internal cannons, as well as unguided rockets. No aircraft were lost in action, despite large amounts of ground fire. Consensus of the crews and foreign observers was that the Turnan's capabilities were exceptional. The early aircraft lost was by a high-ranking officer who made a giant run and crashed during an aborted takeoff. When the UN peacekeeping mission was over in 1964, four of the Turnans returned to Sweden, where the remaining were destroyed at their base, since they were no longer needed at home and the cost of retrieving them was deemed excessive. My video of Sharp 29 Turon and Asia. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.